Hi Stampers, welcome back to Did You Stamp Today with Amanda Mertz. We, today we are going to learn how to do a fork bow, like this one that's here on this card that um, I've shared today on my blog along with this video. So you can find the full uh, card instructions there with all the supplies, but today we're just going to learn how to make this fork bow. It's a cute little bow. I like to use this for um, smaller ribbon, lightweight ribbon. It just makes a really nice, um, cute, not too bulky little embellishment for your card. So that's what we're going to do. Let me show you a couple other ribbons that I use. This one, here's the red. Just gives a nice little look. And then another favorite, because you can make this any color you want with your Stampin' Blend. So you can color the crinkled seam binding ribbon. Get a nice cute little bow. So today we're going to start serving fork, just generic serving fork out of my <laughs> silverware drawer that actually just lives in my stamp room now. And we're going to use some of the Evening Evergreen Sheer Ribbon. I'm going to cut about eight inches or so. It gives you enough room to tie it and then a little bit extra on the tails so you can have some to trim off. So you're just going to take your fork, hold it straight in front of you. I'm right-handed, so I always have my tails point this way. So I just wrap it around the fork. You've got your two tails, one on the bottom, one on the top. The bottom one, you always want to make sure that it's a little bit longer. Again, that's the one on the bottom. The one on the top just stays right there, just a little bit shorter. So you're going to start by bringing this bottom tail up over the top. Then you slide it through. Oops. Slide it through the center tine, a little space in the middle. You just kind of keep everything else still. All right, so this one's back here in the end. You're just going to bring it back up through that center hole right there in the middle. All right, and then I'm going to, then all you do is tie a knot. Take the two tails and tie it. You got this. Then this, slide it right off your fork, and you've got the cutest little bow now. Trim off the ends. I use a glue dot on the back to ad adhere it to the card front. There you go. There's your fork bow. Let's do one more. Ready? You can watch it. You can slow it down. So, wrap your ribbon around. Make your bottom tail. See? Bottom tail right there. The one on the bottom. It's a little bit longer. I'm going to wrap that one over the front, tuck it through, then you bring it back up, and then just tie a knot with the two tails. Easy peasy. If you've got a big salad fork, salad serving fork, or one of those forks they used to hang on the wall as a decoration, as long as it's got that center Bit that you can pull the ribbon through. You can make all size of forks. Bigger fork, bigger bow. Smaller fork, smaller bow. There you go. So, enjoy making your fork bows. Tag me on Instagram, did you stamp today? If you want to show me your fork bow. Thanks so much.